the kitchen now uh, with Nisha Katona, who is making her delicious coconut curry that Andy was really quickly trying to get a picture <laughs> of at the same time as posting an Instagram story. Oh. It's like, you've literally got three seconds. It, exactly. Happened. And look at that. There's a perfect shot of the food. Nisha. <laughs> Take that. There we are. Nisha, tell us about this coconut curry. I've been excited about it since yesterday. That's True. So, that's, and it's such a compliment. You want to take a photo of it because it does, it doesn't, the, the look doesn't do it justice. You're it's right. It's so full of flavour. Oh. So this is a Goan coconut and chicken curry. Now, I've cooked it with chicken. You could do it with tofu. You could do it with cauliflower yeah. if you want to make it meat. No, you know. no to the tofu, no to the no. cauliflower, just so you know. <laughs> I do love Chicken's you, fine Andy. for me. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it with paneer. I have to say this. Yeah, paneer's because nice. Because it's the right thing to say. So the way that we start off, because Go is the south of India, and yeah. there are certain ingredients that immediately take you to that sort of verdant green coastal oh area. Do you like yeah. it? Oh my gosh, really? Mustard seeds and curry leaves are what take you to a South Indian curry. Yeah. So mustard seeds go into the pan. Now this is a really important point. If you can see these, they go in brown yeah. and they taste acrid. But then when you're frying them, I'm going to have to do that otherwise I'll be wearing them. So yeah. we'll be <laughs> right. <you're doing> <laughs> They start to pop, and what's really fascinating is they then taste a popcorn. Oh! Mm. It's an incredible transformation. It's some, one of those magical alchemical things that happen in cooking. Mustard seeds, you've got to fry them until they go brown. Oh, yeah, look, they're having a little jump around. Oh, so you can even smell that. Suddenly they, they become nutty. Yep. Into that hot, hot oil, because we're going to South India, we put in something called curry leaves. Yeah. And they oh, there we go as well. There we go. Switch the heat off. That, <laughs> yeah. that, that's not great for the camera, is it? That. <laughs> but, but they're beginning to fry, and suddenly you're getting that really defining fragrance of South India. That's the starting point. So, so now gorgeous. we're into the territory of Goa. Yeah. And the whole of the South. Okay. Lovely. So into that because we're making a meat curry. The building blocks of a meat curry are onion, ginger, and garlic. As much as you can be bothered chopping. So onion goes in. Let me put that in here. Why are you show. doing that? I'm not being rude, but I really want to enjoy my curry. So, and I'm in the heels. So I'm just going to really? bring my chair here. Oh, nice. I've been really Do you want one? I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. I'm here now. Uh, well, go on then. Go on. I'm really it's enjoying like a my chef's food. This, this is what we do, you see. here, isn't it? In America, they're not people to do that for us. I know but, we're yeah. on telly, but I'm <laughs> like, I really want to enjoy this. London W12, do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Perry when you need him? See, oh, how much more enjoyable is that next no, to you're right. you sat down? Oh, do you know what Ooh. I need now? Just a soft drink someone, a fizzy beverage. Is that mm. Perry? Get Perry yeah, on. Yeah, that, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like sparkling apple juice. Because <laughs> Perry is sparkling apple oh, juice, right, yeah. Fair, I mean. Fair. Oh, yeah, got, got, got it, got it. Well, yeah, done. I <laughs> well not, not until you explained it. OK, so onion, ginger, garlic in the pan. Yeah. And then we end up at this stage. So what you want, because we want a sweet undertone, you're always building up layers of flavour when you make a curry. I always say this, but you want sweet, salt, savoury, all of those things. Mm -hmm. So you want your onions brown. You've got to get them brown. Yeah, you... This is the only moment yeah. of patience. This is half an hour curry, so which is really quick for a curry. Yeah. Um, so they're nice and brown. Now I go in with the rest of my ingredients. <laughs> and you're... You're in with the chicken. In so is chicken. that what is that chicken thigh? Is this in is there? chicken thigh. So chicken thigh, I think, is the tastier mm. cut. Always. Couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. So it's the tastier cut because it's 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 a darker meat. It's just it's softer, yeah. and it takes the spices a lot better. So... Oh, oh yonder, the sound of my fizzy drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh. What is like? happening? Look. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. Hello, what am I, chopped liver? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, okay. Jack. Mm. Cheers. Oh, great vintage. Oh, wonderful vintage. vintage. Yes. Yeah, well, wonderful that's vintage. So bad. You wonderful click vintage. your fingers and it happens. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that's what happens when you're a legend in telly. Oh. I feel like I need a tink <laughs> towel over my hand here. So, really simple in terms of the spicing. Really simple. Turmeric and chilli. Yep. Go into all curries, yeah? Yep. So, these right. are really foundational spices. Onion, ginger, garlic, chicken turmeric chilli, and then we go in with the meat curry spice, which is garam masala. Garam masala is about 20 spices blended together. So all you need, honestly, to make a really good chicken curry of any kind, turmeric chilli and a big bag of garam masala in your cupboard. Wow, yeah. OK. okay. okay. Too good. They're the staples. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's it. So to be honest, you know, so I put those spices in, we give that a stir. And into that, it's optional, but I'm going to add a little bit of ground coriander because lovely. it's, again, that lovely herby note that you get. It's, it's, it's good, mm. isn't it? It does add to it. It does. So let's go a bit of coriander now. We've got the basis of curry. So you could, to be honest, just add water to that, a bit of salt, and you've got a really good home-style curry, especially if it's on the bone. Yeah, oh, mm. yeah, lovely. Especially if it's on the bone. Yeah. So, um, so we've got our spices in, but I am taking this 
to South India. So what I need are those, and it's a coconut curry, so we go with a number of coconut permutations. Lots sorry, Nick, yes. I'm sorry, Come I need on. to look after the lady of the house. Yes. May I have a DC? <laughs> Thank you very much for my kind lady. Being poured for you now, madam. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jack. Thanks, Jack. You Thank felt bad, you. didn't you, Jack? Be honest. Yeah. Thank you. Jack has a non, Jack has a non speaking part. <laughs> it's very good a DC to clean the palate. <laughs> yeah. It's what it's better than beer, actually, with a curry. Yeah. And it oh, really dear. is better than Take beer. Take the girl out of Essex. So. <laughs> um, classy, it's classy, Rochelle. <laughs> so here we go. Coconut milk. That's going to oh. give you the volume <sighs> and a lovely note that of coconut. Gorgeous now, taste. Because yeah. we're making a coconut curry. My hand gone off. Because we're making a coconut curry, we need even more coconut. So, the thing that's going to give it a creamy sweetness is this. It's a block of coconut cream. Wow. Yeah. This is called coconut cream. And when you put that into a curry, it makes it velvety and it gives it a sweetness. So okay, we go in with well, that. I didn't cream, know. Yeah. And then I want know. a bite, a little yeah. bit of bite. So we go desiccated coconut. You can put one or all three of those kinds of coconut in. So we give that a little simmer. As soon as the chicken is cooked, I'm rushing through this a little bit. As soon as the chicken yeah. is cooked, it's done, really. All we're going to do is add a little bit of creme fraiche or nice. yoghurt yeah. to finish it off. You stir that in, touch of sugar and a touch of salt, and you end up with this, uh, which is neat. what you oh, have. Amazing. Can I tell amazing. you, Asia, it is so, so delicious. The mango in that rice as well is so nice to have something yeah. so sweet in there. It's yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank you so I'm much. So glad. It's a pleasure Absolutely to you. gorgeous. OK, look, for details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from all of our chefs, don't forget to download the This Morning app.